Hey y'all, today I am giving you, oh, is my mic on? Oh yeah, we're good. Today I am giving you my reactions to the Apple event where they are releasing a handful of new iPads, a new Apple Watch, a dating some of their apps, and also, of course, the new iPhone 13 series lineup. I am so excited to give you my initial reactions and my thoughts and my opinions on what is and isn't worth it to buy. So let's get going. I'm Sherry Riggs. You're watching Will Slap TV. Okay, we are starting out this Apple event with a bang with the new iPad, just the base iPad. It's pretty awesome. It is starting at only $329, which for some reason makes me want to buy it, even though I have no idea what I'd use it for. It seems like such a reasonable price, like why wouldn't I buy it? Um, and then I'll find a use for it later. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy. I've been sucked into consumerism. <sighs> Pray for me. Honestly, I have no reason for an iPad. In fact, this is the last time I used an iPad. I want everybody to know that I only have an iPad for my adventure, so I'm looking like a real weirdo with this. I was traveling Asia. I didn't have a cell phone with me. I only had an iPad, which sounds crazy. There's a whole backstory, but you don't need to know it. Anyways, this is what it looks like to carry an iPad around with you and use it as your main source of photography. Uh, not my brightest moment, but it got me through Asia. Anyways, all of this to say that I don't have any use for an iPad, but I still want one. <laughs> First thoughts on iPad mini, they showed it and I'm like, okay, great. It's like a slightly bigger Pro Max version of their phones um, without all the perks. And then they're like, plus it has 5G and 4K. That's a pretty cool iPad. And maybe I might need an iPad mini now. <laughs> Love the addition of the USB-C port, faster charging, faster data transfers, never a bad thing. Also love the addition of the touch ID sensor on top. Low key want that to come back to iPhones. I've been missing a touch sensor. Face ID is fine, but you know, a touch sensor, a touch ID sensor is always a great thing. Now I'm just waiting to see how much it costs. Then, then I'll be stoked, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, iPad mini is coming in at a hot $4.99. That's steep for me. That's steep for an iPad. That's just barely bigger than a phone. Um, okay, maybe I'm just gonna go with the normal iPad for 329. That might be the, that might be the move. Now we're talking Apple Watch. Let me tell you about Apple Watch. I have one, I have had one since generation three. Guess how many times I've worn it? Probably three times. Um, I don't know what it is about the Apple Watch. I just cannot, I cannot consistently charge it and put it on my watch, my wrist every night. But maybe, maybe this will help me get back into the mode of Apple watching. We'll see. New Apple Watch Series 7 coming in at $400. Just slightly less than the iPad mini, which blows my mind, but it's okay. Sure, we will go with it. Uh, it comes in like five new colors, but almost 10 colors altogether with different types of casing like aluminum and more. <laughs> I didn't quite catch what it was. The biggest thing about the Apple Watch is the new Series 7 that I really love is that they said it is crack resistant, dust proof, and still swim proof. So they're really trying to connect with our heavy workout audience here. People who love to ride dirt bikes, maybe people who like to rock climb. They're looking at our adventure work outers because uh, I think they have seen that it just needs to be a little bit more durable and that's what they've done with this watch. I think it's pretty great. Okay, now we're talking um, Fitness Plus. Now, the one thing that I'm kind of loving with Apple Fitness Plus, I don't use it, but I might be inclined to use it more. My therapist is gonna be stoked. They're offering mindfulness guided meditations, a mindfulness practice. And if you don't know what that is, then maybe you need therapy just like me. <laughs> Okay, let's just do a quick recap of what has been unveiled at this Apple event. They've gone over all of their new media from Apple TV. They've gone over some iPads and Apple Watch now at Apple Fitness Plus. I don't know if Apple is going to take over the world this year, but they're well on track to monopolize every single market in the world. What's gonna be next? Apple clothing. Apple, Apple smart clothing is probably what's coming next. I would wear Apple smart clothing, by the way. I would do it in a heartbeat. This is the unveiling of iPhone. They haven't announced that what the name is yet, but it's cool colors, I guess. I like pink. Oh, it's like an opal. Love. 
a blue, red, yes. I'm still liking this semi-pink opal color. That's what I want. I'm not gonna upgrade though. <laughs> I should have the 12 Pro. I feel like I just got it like a month ago. I hate about new phone releases is what they name the screens, right? Like this one is called the Super Retina OLED Powered Screen. It's like, how many more words can we fit into a screen name? Let's just, let, how many? Talk 5G. They were like, 5G is great. Here's what you can do with it. Yes, we already know, but like, will it support C-band? Who knows? Um, yeah, that's, that's like the main question. It's like, okay, we all know that we assumed iPhone 13 would be 5G capable, but we'll be able to keep up with future 5G. And that's the real question they did not answer. I'm a little disappointed in their 5G segment, honestly. Okay, so let's talk specs of the iPhone's very basic overview. The cost of the iPhone mini 13 and the iPhone 13 is going to be $699 and $799, which is pretty great considering all that you get with them. The starting capacity is higher than before, 128 gigabytes all the way up to 512, still with a 256 gigabyte option. And then they mentioned this briefly with some partners, you can trade in a qualifying iPhone for up to $700. And you can put that towards, you know, the iPhone 13, the iPhone 13 mini, or even one of the new iPhones, I'm sure that they haven't announced yet, which we will get to right now. Ah! iPhone 13 Pro Max also came out with a new Retina display name called Super Retina XDR. Whoa! I think we need more names in there. We need more letters. We need more adjectives. Is it a great Super Retina XDR? Is it an amazing Super Retina XDR? I don't know, we need more in there, Apple. We need more information. So far, the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max feels good, but not like great, not like a ton of upgrades. <laughs> My favorite upgrade so far though was something they call ProMotion, which basically feels like a very dumbed down version is a better scrolling experience. Uh, the refresh rates are much better. And then they have something called the well the pro motion says it will match your finger speed for swiping and scrolling and i that made me laugh i don't know why i just i just thought that was silly but pro motion it's new it exists you can game with it which i think is what they're highlighting here a better gaming experience low key the camera upgrades to the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max are absolutely incredible. The one thing I really love is the thing they're calling photographic styles. You can set the kind of style you want for all your own photos that could be potentially different from everyone in the world before you shoot a picture. You can choose between different filters. Think of it like a customizable Instagram filter, but you know, more high tech. You can choose between like a vibrant, a standard, a contrast style, and then you can change like the warmth and, and and the saturation before you take a photo so you can define your own style, which I think is really awesome. I'm a big fan of that. I think this is something your average person will be able to enjoy, not just like professional photographer level camera users. So that's one thing I'm really impressed with, with the iPhone 13 Pro. Okay, there were rumors that the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max would be starting at a more expensive price than history has shown us that the Pro and Pro Max versions start at. However, that's not the case. They actually kept them the same base price. So the iPhone 13 Pro will start at $999 and the Pro Max will start at $1099. And the best, the best thing that I have heard all day is that these phones will now come with a terabyte storage option, which is incredible, especially for people who are heavy on the filmmaking, on the photo taking, and really do a lot of heavy editing on their iPhone. I think this will be an entire game changer. So I'm a huge fan of the iPhone 13 Pro lineup. Um, I don't necessarily love just the iPhone 13, but I love the Pro and Pro Max. I think those are, the way to go if you're gonna choose a new iPhone from this lineup. Unless you don't need all the fanciness, then I would definitely go with the 13. It's very well priced, not expensive, especially the mini. The mini is only $699, which is crazy. Um, that's what the mini started at last year, and I still think that's a great entry level price for a high end style of smartphone. So if you're not looking for all of the bells and whistles, iPhone 13 mini or just the iPhone 13 is a really great 
option coming in under $800 for either of them. Okay, the final question that maybe some of you guys are asking, of this lineup, what would I buy? What would I upgrade to? So I literally just got my iPhone 12 Pro last year. So I don't think I'll be upgrading just specifically because of that. Um, I am a fan of the new Apple Watch, but I think I need to tell myself, I need to show that I am responsible enough to have the new Apple Watch by consistently wearing my Series 3 for at least a month. And if that happens, then maybe I'll consider upgrading. I just, I'm not a consistent watch wearer, but all of the new updates to the Apple Watch, like crack resistant, dust proof, and then also, of course, swim proof is really impressive to me. I do a lot of rock climbing. I do a lot of um, sports that get dust in electronics and so I think that's a really great potential new buy for me and then like I said before I'm really interested in buying the iPad I don't know why um, I don't need it for any reason other than it just feels like it's well priced and I could have it just to have it and then I'd have a whole lineup of Apple products <laughs> Uh, what of these Apple products are you going to buy for yourself? I would love to hear from you. Are you an iPhone fan? Are you an Apple fan or not? Um, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Uh, head to the community page too where I'll have a post. You can We can have a good chat discussion there. Uh, yeah, that's, that's it. Also, we're going to start doing shorts. So head to our shorts page head to the app, check out our shorts while we'll have awesome behind the scenes footage, new looks at Whistle Out, and different opinions that I show here on the main channel. I'd love for you to join along there as well. That's, um, that's it. This is an official, official goodbye. I'll see you, I'll see you later this week. <laughs> and on the channel for as much as you want if you subscribe. Okay, it's time for me to go now. Bye. <laughs>